Hi guys. <clears throat> I've been working really hard on this recipe today. So let me tell you, it's going to be a humdinger. Alright, so what we got is I got whatever you want to call it. Green sauce, salsa verde, tomatillo salsa, whatever you want to call it. It's just the bomb. And you know, the only way to have it is you got to go to those little hole-in-the-wall hole Mexican restaurants where they make it themselves. And let me tell you, it's a process, you know. Um, so, I'll go over everything I got and how I got there. Um, one thing I'm going to tell you is that I like to put hatched chilies in it, and they're only in season, real short period. Like, there's a store here that um, they get them in, maybe a couple uh, flats of them, and they're gone like in a day. So what I'll do is I'll buy them, and all you got to do <clears throat> when you have chilies, and you want to uh, you want to you want to uh, oil a lot of olive oil and uh, get them on the grill and, and really get them to char and kind of blister. Then you put them in a, a bowl, heavy bowl. I like a glass bowl because it holds the heat better. A piece of plastic over it, and what it does is it sweats the skin right off. So then what I do is peel the skin off. I cut the end off, you know, the end off um, where the stem is, and you can just cut it in half and, and scoop it out. It's, you know, very soft and pliable. And I freeze a whole bunch of them when they're in season. I buy as many as I can because, um, and, and this is really what they, they look like, okay? Uh, the, the skin's gone. The skin is really too thick um, to eat. So I just, like I said, I keep them in the freezer and whenever I need them. So I've got, I probably have a total of like one and a half right here. Uh, I, had, I actually had a bunch this year, and I haven't been making as much with it, so I'm like, yeah, I better get going on this. So, <clears throat> the labor of love is, I took an onion, and you cut it in half through the middle, not lengthwise. So, like you were going to uh, make onion rings or something, and then you peel the skin and you leave the ends on and you, you put it on the grill. And so it, you get a good char on it, okay? So, and everything I cook on the grill to steam, I, I, um, I, uh, I, I put olive oil on. So basically in here I've got tomatillos that I uh, husked and cut in half, cut the stem end off, just made a little divot with a knife. And I started those flesh side down until I got a nice little char on them and then flipped them over because we want to blister that skin and want to finish cooking. You can tell when they're done because they get really soft. The onions just sit in the back <clears throat> background. You can't kill them. You can't do anything wrong with them. <clears throat> the other thing I did was I cut some jalapenos in half lengthwise. Cut the top off obviously. And I did the same thing. I want to blister that skin a little bit and then flip them over and want to kind of cook the inside too. So this is a kind of a menagerie of my uh, hatch chilies, my onion. It doesn't have to be a very big onion. My tomatillos, there are five tomatillos in here. And I did, um, I did three jalapenos because they were, they were medium size. So what we need to do, we need to get this. <laughs> and when you steam them, you're going to get some, the liquid out, right? So we, don't, we want to be really careful of the tomatillos because that's the only juice that goes in here. And this is actually the bowl that I put them in after I, before I steamed them and after I steamed or charred them. So there was a little liquid that did come out. There was all that good char stuff in there. And the onion stays kind of solid. So I did, I did cut it in chunks. It was hot, so I was kind of being really careful. Then I want to take, I have some garlic here, some odds and ends, it's probably total about four or five cloves of garlic. Toss them in there. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. You know me when I have my food processor, I do a lot of pulsing because it's the only way to, for me to keep it under control. Block. So let's do a little pulsing and I can't talk over it. so. I 
can smell it and the steaming because everything's still warm. Got this beautiful salsa happening now. So now what I need to do is I've got some uh, cilantro. Now I use a lot of cilantro and a lot of Italian parsley, parsley because my rabbits eat it too. But with cilantro, um, you know, you, you have your leaves at the end and you can cut that off and, and actually chop up the stem, that fine stem actually is, is perfectly fine to be in here. With Italian parsley, they tend to be a little more careful and just cut off the leaves. And I know I don't use salt in my cooking, as I always preach, but um, this is a condiment. So we do need some salt to kind of bring out some flavor here. And uh, just need about a teaspoon of salt. I want to take my handy dandy spatula and I just want to push some of the stuff down. <clears throat> I was going to do this with the immersion blender, but I just knew to get the right consistency I really did need to use my food processor. You could use an immersion blender. Actually, you could use a blender. I, I just don't like using blenders because I feel like I don't have a whole lot of control. visual inspection here. Take my handy dandy spatula. And let me tell you, roasting them. And you just, just take your time, you know, high heat, you're not going to hurt anything. Just really, really get a nice, nice char on there. Yep. Just a couple chunky things in here I need to get out of here, so I'm going to pulse it real quick one more last time, and then we are done. So this is kind of a short thing. <clears throat> I'm actually making this because I'm cooking skirt steak to put on beans and rice, and I just think this would go really well with it. smart person, we're going to take the bowl off here, I'm going to move the motor to the base, them old school ones are heavy, heavy, <clears throat> let me show you what it looks like, so first, you always want to get that blade out of there because it's dangerous. And don't drop it in sudsy water because when you reach for it, you won't know where it is like a shark. It'll bite you. I just want to get as much of this off. So the, the tomatillo really, that's the liquid you're getting in here, and it, it's just, it's so nice and fresh and great. And once you, once you try this, I guarantee you're not going to make, or you're not going to store bought any of this stuff anymore. And it really isn't that hard, you know, just get the grill out, mind you're doing something else with it. want you to see how beautiful this really is. Woo. Get a little afterburner from the chilies and the uh, 
garlic and onion, but uh, it's watering a little bit. I'm going to make the effort to do this. I'm getting it to the last drop. Okay. Smelled a little. Oh man. This is just really, really good. <coughs> <coughs> so, here I have. Wow. The taste is unbelievable. I know that the garlic's hitting me a little hot, but uh, we're going to put it in the refrigerator. It's going to mellow it down really well. And this is something that's really go with anything. I mean, you know, take everything to the next level. You know, when, when, we, um, when I make anything that goes in a tortilla shell, I don't use all that powdered seasoning that they sell because it's not really a fresh flavor. You're not really gaining anything. Um, but let me tell you, when you when you top it with something like this or any of the other things I make, you know, my mole sauce or um, anything, uh, my guacamole, obviously, which is killer, best in the country. Um, we really, we really bring, we really elevate that food to to a whole new level. So it takes something really simple, like uh, grill some chicken, throw it in a tortilla shell with whatever veggies you want, you know, uh, uh, cheese, you know, tomatoes, lettuce, black olives, sour cream, and scoop some of this on top and you'll, you'll find yourself standing next to the bowl just dunking your, your taco in there, your burrito in there. But this is really good and uh, once again I really appreciate everyone that takes the time to watch my videos. Um, it's like I always say, it's why I do it, and I really try and do some good creative things. Um, I'm not trying to make earth-shattering anything. I do it on occasion, but I always try and shortcut it. Uh, so really, thank you. I appreciate you, and I will have more and more videos. I got a bunch I'm editing right now, so I will get them cranked out for you. I've been kind of busy, and I hope I hope you just take the time to make one thing just to see. What I, what my food really does taste like, it, you know. Obviously, don't try something that you don't like, but um, most of my food is pretty darn good. So I want you to have a great day. I'm going to take the rest of the day off, and I will see you next time.